All right, so I got this idea for a video to time myself how long it takes me to homeschool all my kids. Now, when I say me homeschooling, remember, I use a self-taught curriculum, the Robinson curriculum, where when they reach a certain point, they are completely independent with their schooling. They're doing math, Saxon math on their own, then they're writing every day on their own. I correct the essay and give them feedback, and then they work on some vocabulary, grammar, spelling on their own, and then they read from a book list on their own. So with the older kids, all I have to do is correct their essay. Now with the younger kids, I am more involved. I'm teaching them how to read. I'm making sure that they're memorizing all their math facts. I personally like to add in a little dictation with the alpha phonics lessons. So I'm gonna show you everything that I do during a typical homeschooling day. I'm gonna show you what I do with everybody and how long it takes me because I'm going to time myself. All right, so timer is starting, and I'm working here with Sophie, who's four. Now, we don't really start anything formal around here until age five, but I do kind of teach others that it's really helpful if you start off with the youngest to oldest, you know, with your one-on-one -on -one time, because, you know, if you just spend a little bit of time with them up front, they can, you know, pretty much leave you alone as you do schooling with the other kids. They'll entertain themselves. So again, we don't really start alpha phonics until the age of five, but we're just going through the pre-reading exercise drills and she thinks this is fun. And then uh, we kind of go over lesson one over and over again. All right, Sophie, so. Letters. A, B, C, 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 C. D, D, D. All right, so alpha phonics, uh, the manual says, you know, a great way for them to learn their alphabet and practice it is to tap it. That way they see it, um, they learn it orally and visually. And so, yeah, we're just going to do that for a little bit. Go ahead, Sophie, and point and say the letters. A. A. B. B. Let's see what we have in Sophie's bin. We have some flashcards for money and time. Just some dollar store little notebooks to practice. All right, so Sophie, now that we're done, I want you to go ahead and do a page in each of these. A page of your ABCs and a page of your numbers, okay? So you can go to the big table with the big kids. All right, so I'm up to 10 minutes with my first one-on-one -on -one time with my four-year-old, and now we'll go on with the rest of the kids. So I'm here with James and I'm going to start the timer again. With James, we're going to um, finish up Alpha Phonics. I really regret using other reading programs in the past. And so just to fill in the gaps and lay a really strong foundation, we started all over with Alpha Phonics. And so we're almost done. We're just in the last few lessons. I don't just do a lesson a day. If it takes them a while to get through a lesson, we'll keep repeating the lesson until they get it. So that's my routine with them. I do a little uh, alpha phonics with him. He reads to me a lesson from the uh, McGuffey's Primer and also from the alpha phonics reader book. And that's pretty much all he does with me. And then when he's finished with me, he's going to finish his copy work. He's using draw right now to kind of like set right the drawing and then the copy work. Yep. And what's the last thing you do? Hmm. What was he flat off? You are too young to go along. Good. The box is too behind. Hi. Hi, it is big. Right, so James finished this lesson. He did well. Go ahead and write your initials on top that you did it. That's just how I keep track where everybody is at and they like doing that. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the reader book. Read to me these two stories. So now the last thing is just James is going to read to me a lesson from the McGuffey's Primer. Sometimes we do a couple of lessons, sometimes we just do one. So we'll see how it goes. These are quick little lessons. We might do those too, so. Just go ahead and finish your copy work and then we'll do flashcards. You'll do flashcards. 
All right, so I'm gonna pause it because I'm finished with James and then I just have a couple more to go. All right, so I'm here with my son who is 10 and we had you know, some bumps along the road with learning how to read. So we're just finishing up Alpha Phonics. Again, I restarted, we started all over with Alpha Phonics. So um, he's in the last few lessons and he's going to read to me a lesson from the McGuffey Second Reader, which I don't have that book. Do you have it? The McGuffey mm -hmm. Second Reader. No. And we do a little practice with dictation, which I forgot to do with James. I knew I was forgetting to do something with him, but it's all right. Every, every Alpha Phonics lesson, we end with just some simple dictation. I'll just read aloud a couple sentences, and then um, they write it, and then I show it to them, and they can kind of see what they did wrong and fix it. All right, let's start with an easy one. We are not sure. Write down for me, we are not sure. All right, and the last thing is just reading to me a lesson from the McGuffey Second Reader. Again, especially with everything, all the challenges, I really wanna make sure his fluency is great because after he finishes reading to me the McGuffey Second Reader, he's completely on his own with the RC book list. The first book he will read, well, he's already read kind of nursery rhymes during our RC reading time, but now he'll be starting uh, The Tale of Jolly Robin and just continue on with the RC book list on his own. And the timer is still going. How much you got right? There's a lot, and there's how much you got wrong. Cool, so now you gotta go over the ones you got wrong over and over, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is 9.34 right now. I'm waiting on four writing assignments to correct four kids writing assignments. And then with Jenny, she's pretty much completely independent on her own, but she's still just almost done finishing reading to me from the McGuffey Second Reader. And then that's it, she'll start the RC book list. She'll be completely on her own. And since it's still pretty early, I'm probably going to go to Costco before lunch, come back, make lunch, and then still do all the afternoon stuff. So plenty of time for everything. All right, I started the timer again because now the writing assignments are flowing in. So I just correct and give it back and they fix all their mistakes. They will write the words down 10 times each or, you know, put it on their little cheat sheet as well. So yeah, that's it. That's what I'm going to do now. So even though Jenny is A and technically you can do copy work up until the age of 10, that's what the RC course of study says, she still, she likes to write her own things, her own little descriptive uh, writing assignments or stories. So that's what she did today. Three misspellings. Come over here, Jenny. So this is how you write these words, okay? So I wrote them for you here. So I want you to write them 10 times each when we're done, okay? Or And make a little list for yourself of all the words you always spell wrong so that next time you'll know exactly how to spell them, okay? All right, so like I said, Jenny's pretty much almost completely on her own. She's eight. She's just finishing the last few um, stories from the McGuffey Second Reader to me, and then she'll start Jolly Robin all on her own. And then I won't do anything except just correct her daily S, daily writing. So I'm going to start the timer. The sun has gone to rest. The bees forsake the flower. The bird hurries to its nest within the leaves bower. All right, so I'm starting the timer again for the last time because I just got my other daughter, my oldest daughter's daily writing assignment. So I'm going to correct that right now. All right, here it is. Just two spellings, just two misspellings. I want you to write them 10 times each and put them on your list. So that's it. Homeschooling, six kids. My part is done in under 45 minutes for the day. So I think that's pretty good. I'm, it's only 10 o'clock. So I'm going to go to Costco, come back, lunch. I have a coaching call at 1 p.m. You know, we have a fun family night activity for Friday night tonight. So I love RC. As you can see, it's not stressful. I really enjoy it. The kids enjoy it. They have control over their education. They're not overwhelmed. I'm not burnt out. 45 minutes in a day for six kids. 
they're obviously doing more than that, but they do it on their own. And so they're developing really great study habits and it's just such a great sustainable way to homeschool, which is why I'm working on a course right now, Sustainable Homeschooling 101. There's a wait list for that if you wanna check it out in the uh, description. All right, so little update to this video. I timed myself doing it another day and it came out to 50 minutes because I didn't forget to do dictation with my son, James. So that's why you see the 50 minutes on the thumbnail, because really that's how long it takes me typically with all six kids doing everything that I'm supposed to do. So that's why it's 50 minutes, but still well within one hour. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in the Robinson curriculum, I have a free, free 13 part video series all about it where I break it down. I will link it in the description below where you can check it out. I also have an RC course for littles where I talk about my method, how I get them ready to where RC officially picks up. Just laying down that really strong foundation without a ton of busy work, without, as you can see, taking a lot of time, just the most direct route from just learning their ABCs to where uh, the Robinson curriculum really picks up. So I will put information in the description below. Right now you can join as a founding member for only $99 and then it will go up next year. So I will leave that information down in the description below if you're interested as well. All right, hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.